In this video, we'll look at a solution to do sentiment analysis on content before it's added to a search index in SharePoint 2013 search. So our solution is going to make use of the content enrichment web service, which is basically a code call out that I can do as part of the content processing pipeline where I can enhance content before it gets added to an index. There's been a lot of you know, really good examples of this capability out there, both on MSDN and different blogs. So I want to put a different spin. I'm actually going to do that operation asynchronously. So it's typically a synchronous thing. I'm going to do it asynchronous. I'm going to release my thread. And then I'm actually going to mark items for recrawl later once we have the values that we want to enrich our content with. So the way I'm going to do this is through sentiment analysis. I have a, a SharePoint list here that I'm going to quickly add some content to. And uh, this could just as easily be social data on like a news feed, but uh, for the sake of a demo, I'm just using a, a regular SharePoint list. So you can see I added about eight values that just have different sentiment, like I am happy, what a horrible day. And each one of those, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a sentiment score as it goes through search. So what I'm going to do for the sake of time, I do have continuous crawl turned on. So it would typically pick this up, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do just kick off an incremental crawl just so I can get this content um, indexed. Um, as it's going through uh, that the content pipeline, it's actually going to be calling out to our service, although the first time through, we're not going to be enhancing that content at all. We're only going to be basically sticking it into a database and calling an asynchronous process um, behind the scenes that's going to give it a sentiment score. So um, there's actually a database involved in this. Our, our solution has a small little single table database that basically keeps track of asynchronous updates that we need to make. And so um, here's my database. I'll, I shouldn't have any data. Actually, it's already crawled that data. That was quick. So um, you can see we keep track of the item path, the managed property that we're going to be updating, which is sentiment. We need to know the data type so that when we go and we put the value back in the managed property, we know how to cast it. One important thing is the crawl date. We need to keep track of that so that we can make sure that we're updating the right information in, in the search index. And then finally, here's the value that we're going to be adding. Um, and again, so this is a managed property that doesn't exist on those items at all. Um, it's something that we're going to augment through our service. So now that this has been indexed, and let me just make sure, take a look at our search crawl here. It's probably still going on, should be finishing up here in just a moment. Um, I should now be able to search for these items. So I have a little sentiment search page here. And if I do our search, you can see it has all our items that it was able to locate. Um, in this case, we have no sentiment value because again, what we've done is we've released the thread in that content enrichment web service. And now we're going to have a separate process that's going to go back and basically add the value and, and mark this as, as recrawlable. That's one of the interesting challenges about content enrichment is that you might be adding properties that um, in, in any other case, the item doesn't really need to be crawled. You would actually have to do like a full crawl because I haven't actually updated any of these items. So I haven't marked those as dirty. So a, a typical um, you know, continuous crawl or incremental crawl wouldn't pick up anything that I want to add or augment to these items. So I have a, a small timer job that actually is going to go through and uh, mark these items for re-indexing. So what it's ultimately doing is looking at this database and saying, Hey, do I have do I have items in this database that are ready to be processed? So um, as long as I have items in here that have values, then um, we need to re-index these guys, and we're going to re-index them by the item path. So this is something that I actually got from the uh, the con the content enrichment pipeline. It gives me the path for the items. So now we're just going to go through and mark each of these paths for recrawl, and then our service it basically will go and, and grab these values and put it in the item. So let's go ahead and kick off and make sure our, our crawl is done just so there's no smoke and mirrors here. I'll just do another search here just to validate. Okay, we're good. Let me go off and kick off our timer job. 
So I have just a really simple little timer job. So I'll go here under monitoring and it is called the content enrichment timer job. You can see it right here. I'll go ahead and click on this guy. It runs every 15 minutes, but I'm gonna just kick it off manually just so we can get this, um, get this done. And the way I can tell this has worked is if I go back to the search service application and go into the crawl log, what you'll see in the crawl log under errors, and it's not really an error, it's just basically saying this needs to be re-indexed, but you can see it says 10 items will re be retried as part of the next crawl. Um, these are those new items that were added. So you can see um, here are all the, these new items. When I, my timer job, when I marked those paths as needing recrawls, it basically just temporarily puts it into, I guess, the error category so that search will pick it up. Search knows to pick up errors. And so it's kind of a fake error. We're just saying, hey, this needs to be recrawled. Um, what the, the API for doing this doesn't mention anything around errors. I think that's just how it, it marks it so that search will recrawl it. Again, we haven't updated the item at all. So an incremental crawl typically wouldn't go and recrawl these items. We've just kind of marked it dirty in the search index so that search will pick it up again. So let's go and do another um, incremental crawl. So again, what's gonna happen here is our service is gonna go and say, hey, do I have anything that's complete in this uh, table uh, in our, our database? So that content enrichment web service is looking out here and when it finds items that come through, so if we have a match on an item path that has a value, we'll go augment the item with this value in its managed property. So we'll go set the sentiment managed property to, in this case, 7.26. So um, we know it's finished when I query this and this table disappears. So we can see it looks like it just processed a bunch of these. And so actually it might be done with those. Let's take a look at our search again. Oh, not yet. So it looks like it's, it's still going through some processing. So there it is, it looks like it's, it's completed now. You notice now I have sentiment values for each one of my items. So I can see I am happy got a score of 7.2. What a horrible day, it's really, it's down low, it's a 1.3. So this is on a, a one to 10 scale or a zero to 10 scale, I guess you could say. So you can see that I have a good mixture. I can even do things like say sentiment is greater than five and I can get all the positive ones, or I could change that to sentiment less than five, and you can see I get all the negative ones. So again, that sentiment value, it's in the search index and it's in there because of our um, content enrichment web service that we've implemented. In this case, we've implemented asynchronously.